Ukrainian drones attacked two oil refineries of Russia. Each explosion disrupts fuel supplies. On the morning of March the 16th, two drones attacked two oil refineries in the Samara region, according to Telegram channels Baza and the city of Sizran. According to information from the Telegram channel Baza, a drone attacked the territory of the factory in Sizran. A fire broke out covering an area of 500 square meters. The first drone attacked the territory of an oil refinery in Sizran. A fire broke out there. Currently, the area of the fire is 500 square meters, the channel reported. Additionally, a drone attacked the Novokui Bayshevsk refinery. A fire also broke out there, but firefighters managed to extinguish it. At the same time, several other drones attacked the Novokui Bayshevsk refinery. A fire broke out there, which was extinguished half an hour later. The Baza Channel administrators reported. The local administration of Sizran has confirmed the information about the fire. Telegram channels report that the refinery belongs to Rosneft. The local Rosneft refinery in Sizran is on fire after a drone attack. AVT-6 is under attack again, as one of the video's authors says. This is a unit with two rectification columns, the heart of the plant where oil is processed, the channels reported. Andrey Yusov, spokesperson for Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, said that every explosion at a Russian oil refinery disrupts the supply of fuel to Russians in the combat zone in Ukraine. Yusov has neither confirmed nor denied that the strikes on the Russian oil refineries were the work of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, but he specified the types of facilities at which explosions occurred. These are both storage and production capacities. Every such incident that has disrupted the operation of some facilities over the last few weeks or months also disrupted the pace of the supply of fuels and lubricants to the occupying forces in Ukraine. It gives our defense forces extra time and opportunities and helps save civilian Ukrainian lives. Tanks cannot function without fuel. Recent events clearly show that the process is ongoing and will continue, Yusuf added. He said that the explosions occur at military facilities which cover the needs of the Russian forces. <laughs> Russia awakes to biggest attack on Russian soil since World War II. The biggest attack on Russian soil since the Second World War continues as waves of attack drones continue to fall on Russian oil refineries, military bases and security services. At least 60 drones were spotted over not less than seven Russian regions overnight on March the 13th, with at least seven more in a morning wave, Russia's defense ministry announced. A major oil refinery is ablaze in Ryazan. Military bases were targeted in Voronezh, and an FSB building was damaged in Belgorod as multiple waves of drones continue to fall in regions across Russia. A missile threat was also reported by the governor of Kursk Oblast. The waves of drones are a continuation of attacks on March the 12th that saw Russia deal with at least 25 drones over nine regions that struck at least two oil facilities. A Russian Air Force base in Butulinovka and a military airfield in Voronezh were targeted in the mass wave of airstrikes, an informed source told NV on March the 13th. It is believed that the strike was organized by Ukraine's security service with other representatives of the defense forces, the source told NV. The consequences of the attack are being clarified. Part of the city of Voronezh was blocked, including the southwest market, after a drone attack, while another community in the region was left partly without electricity. Some districts in Butulinovka are experiencing power outages following a drone attack, local outlet Astra reported. Major oil refineries in three Russian regions were the main targets of the overnight attack organized by Ukraine, a source told NV. Our task is to deprive the enemy of resources, he said. Large oil refineries in Ryazan, Kostovo of Nizhny Novgorod Oblast 
and Kirishi of Leningrad Oblast, all among Russia's five largest, were targeted in the mass drone attack, he said. The attacks are a continuation of a series of special operations against enemy refineries that the Ukrainian army had previously launched, the source said. We are systematically implementing a well-calculated strategy to reduce the economic potential of the Russian Federation, the source added. Our task is to deprive the enemy of resources and reduce the flow of oil money and fuel that Russia directs straight to the war and the killing of our citizens. This work will be continued, pledged Andriy Yusov, a representative of Ukraine.